Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Uncut, the relationship series where it will be me and my lovely life partners sharing about stages of our relationship and it's going to bring up a lot of things that will have you asking questions and the reason why we are doing this or I guess I'm doing this with We're doing you, it for the likes. We're doing it for <laughs> <laughs> We just know that a hot topic of relationships and love comes up a lot. Right? With a hot couple. Oh, it's stuck. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. All right. Stop. Oh, by the way, it's love day, so hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy, Happy love heart. Day. Happy heart day. Happy when you're heart. watching this, it's probably way, it's going to be way past Valentine's Day. But anyways, so, but yes, um, the reason why we're doing this is because we want this to be a safe place where we can discuss everything about relationships and love. Right. Because we keep it real. We are experiencing the most healthiest, fulfilling relationship that we have ever have experienced in a whole entire life. Right. And people are looking for their partners, and it's like, how do you look for them? But then maybe you're coming across a lot of situations where you keep on getting hurt. Exactly. So. And going through one of the most difficult periods. Yes. Of our time as well. So it's the best and. One of the most, <laughs> the most challenging. Yes. The most challenging. So if you've been watching our episode, a quick recap is basically, I'm in the friend zone with this with this guy, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I know that I like him, like him a lot. There's a huge interest. It got it's gotten to the point where our friendship has like blossomed, and we've gotten intimate with yes, each yes, other. Yes, yes, yes. But there was still friends this, with Benny's. Yes, friends with Benny's. We went there, and there was just this part where I was like experimenting <laughs> still staying by this man because i was just way too curious and i was just so in awe of this person because he just represents his lifestyle was self-love i've never seen someone care so much about them and because you've been practicing self-love and you care so much about yourself i was able to see how much you were able to give to others and, and i'm all about wait we are all about giving and giving love but from a place of like you're already feeling good about yourself. And so anyways, I've never seen anyone as committed as this person. So that's why I was so intrigued. Right. So in the last video, we left it off with, it got to a point where you asked me, you know what, let me ask you this. Why would we be great together? Or why would we be good together? Yes, why would right? we be good? Why would we be good? Why would we be great together yes and and, and, I'll, and I'll I struggled you. with this it, it kind of stumped me and I was like why am I stumped and I felt all bad I was like maybe because we're not meant to be then <laughs> why can I answer this question and I I was like this should come naturally I was like is there a reason why it's not coming up naturally so but yeah you wanted to say something about yeah, that yeah, yeah. oh actually before you go there what had you what why did you ask that question it that, got to a point where that's you exactly had, you, where I was going okay. that's exactly where I was yes, going yeah so uh, one of the things I love to ask and one of the, the things that people, individuals normally do, they jump in. They jump in to anything, anything, because with their when, feelings, with, their feelings, with uh, relationships, with uh, family, wh whatever it may be, you know, opportunities that arise with money, people jump in. And how often does that actually work out? See, what I know is people, humans, were very, very emotional. And when it feels really, really good, feels really, really great, we believe that it's supposed to happen. We believe that it's meant to be. And what I've realized is that good feeling, that great feeling that we're experiencing, could be our lack of self-love. Could be the pain that's there but it's being temporarily covered because something good has come along but once those good feelings leave what's left mm. the pain the pain mm. when people stop putting in as much effort as they normally do because that is human behavior and because people need to make a living people need to make money people need to allocate their time into different areas so they could still grow what do you, as a person, as an individual who wants to get into a relationship, what are you doing? Or what filter do you have to protect yourself? 
You see, I knew that she was a good person. I knew that she liked me. I had definite interest, but I was putting out this question. I was posing this question to protect myself. Because was it one of your filters? It, it was my just filter. Just to see where I was at. Exactly, exactly. Because people would love to say, they're at this level, they're at this level. Oh, I am ready. But see, that's the thing. If somebody tells you they're ready, mm-hmm. my question would be, how do you know you're ready? Mm-hmm. How do you know or articulate it so I can understand that you're ready? See, what does being ready look like? See, ask simple questions like that because a person needs to be able to paint a picture. Paint a picture, not just say words. They need to paint a picture so it can convey to the other person that, wow, they really have thought about this. See, not just, oh my God, I'm feeling so great. I, I can't express, because think about it, how many times do you, I can't, I can't really express in, into feeling. words <laughs> how great this feels. I just know, I just know that this is supposed to be. This is supposed to happen, okay? This is supposed to happen. Let's I've never, ever felt this with anyone else in my life. Well, guess what? You're not the only one. You're not the only one. And believe me, you're not gonna, it's not going to be the last time that you're going to get hurt. Because in order to not only protect ourselves, but at the same time experience the consistency of how real love, real feelings, real connection actually feels like, you have to be able to paint the picture yeah. to the other person to let them know this is what it is. This is what it looks like. Like, for example, I, I, I'll, I'll ask you a simple question now, but uh, tell me what your childhood home looked like. Describe it to me. You see? Where was it at? How many roads, how many right turns did it take to get to where you needed to go before you got home? What were the trees like? Or did it have any trees? How much land was it on? Did it have a fence? Right, you can totally paint the picture. You can paint <laughs> you the know picture. It. Exactly. You were around it long enough exactly. to know. Exactly. But yet, you want to tell a person that you're ready. You want to tell them that, oh my God, this is supposed to happen. But yet, you don't know what it's supposed to look like. You don't even know what it is. See? And hence the reason why I posed the question. And why see, would we like shit. be great together? <laughs> it's like it's one of those questions. These exactly. deep questions. Yeah, and I looking back, I really understand. I really, really, really understand. And now I, I understand even more how we started getting closer to the commitment, the, the conversation being committed. Exactly. Because at that time I wasn't practicing self-love as often and I was still internally actually going through some things that I didn't realize subconsciously. You know, there was still a block. Um, I knew that I had those feelings, but yeah, I couldn't, it didn't get to a place where it was like, you know what, this is how I'm ready to really like go deep and like really like like partner up with somebody I just knew I had those feelings and um, I guess I wanted more of a response from you or something like that you know but see you knew that there was I don't know what was happening and you asked that question but um, so yeah so, I, I just so he know. asked that question and and um, after a couple of nights then you gave me the answer right no or was it the same night no oh, I, was I didn't thinking give you about, no answer it took months. Oh, it took months? <laughs> it took months. And then you gave me the answer, because I remember the answer. And it, it, like, it was kind of like a, it hurt, but I was taking it as, okay, he's being honest with me. And it gave me a moment to self-check myself. And I was like, ooh, you're right. Because to really be committed in a relationship, like, a lot of times people project their own pains onto each other 
right? Because they're not, they don't know how to handle their own emotions. So a lot of times it's great in the beginning of a relationship, but then later on you're like, wait a minute, I didn't sign up for this shit. So what was what was your answer, or should I share? It? Oh, please share it because I already forgot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he finally said, okay, you know, you want to know what my answer is? I was like, okay, then what is it? You said that we wouldn't, we wouldn't be great together. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. And I was like, okay. And then he went to explain further. So if you guys have been following him for a little bit or followed me into my other videos, he put up his five hands. Yeah, that is right. And he said, okay, if you look at my life and where I am, this is where I am emotionally. And he was describing how emotionally strong he was and what he's been doing to build up his emotional side or his emotional area really? of his life then he went into mentally mentally where he's at and how he's been taking care of that on a consistent basis basically spiritually financially and physically and as he was describing that it made me reflect on where i am in these pillars and how strong i feel in those and then yeah. That is right. And then you that went to explain right. that. So in a way, you were trying to tell me that, you know, right now you're still growing. You're still growing. And it wasn't like you were rejecting me. You were just allowing me to realize this is why it's not happening yet. Yeah. Because, I mean. She still needed to grow. Yeah, I still needed she to grow. She still needed to grow. And if I could put myself in your shoes, you know, knowing how long I've been practicing self-love, that means you really have a, a good filter and exactly. a good... How would it be fair? Like, you're really protecting your heart, but at the same time, you're being open because exactly. we're having this thing, but it's like, okay, before we commit, though, you know, like, we need to... If we're going to support each other, like, where are you on your self-love? Exactly. And it was in so. a poor state. It was a poor state she was in. <laughs> I was on it, I was on it, but it was like, I'm sure you saw how new I was. And that's the thing, like, when you're experiencing something, and when you get to know someone, you can gauge and see where they're, where they are. Exactly. Just yeah. from talking to them every day, or you hang out every day, you know? So, yeah, you guys, and what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on that? Right. And this is a great question to ask someone that seems to be interested in you but you know you're still kind of like learning about them and being very protective of your heart and uh, just sing sing what they ask yeah. you know so um yeah we covered quite a lot in that video yeah, it, 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 <laughs> so i hell remember it now this hell. was in 2017 17, 17 and 17. then we did not commit until 2018 18, 18. you guys and what else were we gonna connect in the next video? So, so, so after that, I just remembered we just kept on like seeing each other intimately and then also publicly, but like as friends. Yeah, but see at the same time, you know, we were still building her, our friendship basically, but with Benny. Her you know. side was wavering. Yes. You see? Her side, her energy was wavering, or not wavering. It took a hit. It took a hit. You see? Yeah. Because when people don't feel like oh it did it did take a hit yes because i was hurt exactly yes, when people about, yeah, feel hurt emotions, yeah. when they uh yeah i was really when struggling they take when this. they take a hit or whatnot they what do people normally do they go back to familiar things yes right? and or they're more tempted to exactly go back to familiar especially when the other familiar is showing up very strongly right like they're trying to pursue you pursue you again and it's so crazy thinking about it because honestly in my mind and even heart i knew that that wasn't the future for me like i knew but you know we still had like business connections and i went on two trips two trips and because i was hurt and it has to do with my past too with where i felt like i was entering into another situation where i was putting my feelings out there and i was chasing 
yeah. someone that did not want me or had the same feeling. So that's a really deep and dark pain that I've had from my past relationships to this. And that, so that's why I knew this, she wasn't ready. This um, really, really, really challenged me. And so that that was basically 2017 and then it got to the fall. Like when we when you asked me that question of why would we, we be good together, when was that? Do you remember? I believe I believe middle I year? asked. I believe I asked it I August. Say it was middle. Oh, okay. August. Oh, you remember the month? 2017. It's because of your birthday month. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just no, 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 August. It was either July or August, okay. 2017. Okay. And that was the biggest reason why I knew she wasn't ready was because one. She couldn't articulate yes. why we have, would be good or great together. Words. I stumbled and I just couldn't. Exactly. <laughs> Two, she still sounded like other people. The messages, the conversations she would have with, with people in general, uh, she didn't have her own voice. Mm. It wasn't until later on in October, November, mm. where she actually had her own voice. You see, a lot of people, and a lot of men and women, um, we read a lot of things, we watch a lot of things, mm -hmm. and we take in the information. And when we talk to people, we leverage, we utilize what we hear, what we see, to you know, make it a part of our voice, make it a part yes. of our story. Yeah, to convey a message of something that we want to say. Exactly. But it's not necessarily like our... Exactly. Exactly, because a lot of every single time, if you're quoting other people, that's plagiarism. It's plagiarism, and that's okay. You know, whatever, no, sort of whatever right forum, whatever yeah. place that you utilize it, it's okay as long as it's not in the academia world. But when you have your own voice, you could actually take what you hear, what you see, plus taking your experience that you've had, and take those three and refine it. That's when you get your own voice. And she was able to do that. She yes. was able to do that. So you know what? We're going to cover that in the next video because we covered so much of that moment. Exactly. <laughs> that moment. Exactly. And then um, in the next video, we're going to cover... How to get your voice. How to get my voice. And when I did that, I was able to really tell this man that I was in love with him. And there it goes. And no we're more gonna, chicken shit. We're going to no cover back that back. in the next video. And underneath all this, you guys, it's really about the self-love to really enter into a healthy partnership. Exactly. And two people need to know how to take care of themselves. Exactly. They really, really, really need to. Exactly. Um, we're Temple Coffee. <laughs> They're my good thing I have mics. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys are enjoying this, let us know in the comments below what was something that really struck to you. If you have any questions, if we said anything that like triggered you or raised something in you, like we would love to talk about it. Like, let us know. Yeah. Um, and any questions, we would love to answer it in a video form exactly. or exactly. either messaging you back or video form, especially if it's something that it's like a lot of people probably have that same question. Exactly. Yes, so yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Always, always love. Bye.